What is up guys, Old Line Games here, back with another video. And today we're not gonna be playing any games. So this is kind of a different thing. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get games on your calculator. So first off, we're gonna need some uh, copyright free uh, DIY music cause it's kind of is a DIY like how to. So uh, there we go, all right. So then, you're gonna have to go away from your favorite website, um, stop watching your favorite videos, uh, youtube.com, old line games, uh, and then go to TI Connect. Uh, I will leave this link in the description so you guys can know. And unless you have like some weird ancient calculator, which this, this uh, tutorial actually won't work with, you're gonna need to do the Connect CE. So you're just gonna click learn more. Then if you have a PC, click PC. Mac, click Mac. I have a PC, so I'm gonna be downloading for PC. And then I just do this exe file. Continue as guest. All right, and we're back after it downloaded. And I'm um, gonna click next, spam next, install. And yeah, so I'm gonna be back once this finishes, once this finishes installing. All right, and we're back with TI Connect downloaded. So with that all installed, we're just gonna go into our search bar and there TI Connect should pop up. If it hasn't, then you've done something wrong and you probably don't know how to use computers. Um, we're just gonna click no thanks. All right, and here we go. So once you have this, now I'm gonna cut to the camera and then we can see what you have to do there. All right, now that you've gone and downloaded the files from the links in the description, you're going to need two things. One, you're going to need your calculator. It doesn't have to be this exact one, as long as it's a TI and, you know, it has the graphing calculator functionality. The other thing you're going to need is the cable that came with your calculator to charge. So one end's going to go into your computer and the other end just plugs into your calculator in the top right port. Once you have this done, you're good to go. Alright, so once you've uh, plugged in your calculator, you should see this pop up. Now that's good, that means the program knows your calculator is connected. So, once you have that, then the last thing we need is just some games to put on it. So I'm gonna leave this link in the description and it looks like this is the best place to find games for the calculators. They have a bunch of different ca uh, categories. So I'm just gonna go into arcade. Let's see, what game should we do? Let's find an Asteroids game. And let's do, so you're gonna wanna go back into your downloads and find the game you just downloaded. So this one's Ash, and it's spelled wrong. So that's promising. So we're gonna drag this onto the desktop so we know where it is. Go here, click there, navigate to where you place the folder. Then once that happens, you're just gonna wanna pick a name. I'm gonna change this to Asteroid so it's spelled properly. Um, and then we can just put it, we can just put it in the RAM, it's fine. And then just make sure it's, that calculator is checked, and then we, we can hit send. And voila. So now, if we go back to the calculator. Alright, so once the program is finished loading, you're going to want to turn your calculator on. Alright, and then you'll go into programs. And then here, you'll see the program you just put on. So you just click enter to start running it. Enter again. And then there, you see that the game's there. Looks like those little things right there are the asteroids and I'm the little guy at the bottom. So these calculators are by no means like the most high tech machines. So you shouldn't expect to have super crisp gameplay, I would say, but it is a game, and it is on your calculator. Alright, there. So, then you just go back to the menu, hit quit, and you're back. So, seems pretty good. Now, if you have the TI Connect CE, which is like the thinner calculator, you can go to this website, and a lot of these games are like slightly better, because it has more power to run these games. So, you can get some better games from here, if you would like, if you have that kind of calculator. But Right now, we're gonna go through a way you can get some cool Game Boy games on your calculator, like Pokemon, to name one, and just a bunch of other cool games. Um, obviously, I wouldn't recommend anything that's like centered around reaction time, 
simply because you lag so much in the calculator that you won't be able to play any of those games well, but Pokemon's fine because it's like turn-based. What you're going to have to do is you're going to need to download this if you have a black and white calculator, so a non-color model, or this if you have a color calculator model. So, for me, I'll need to use this. And I don't believe this works with the newer, skinnier calculators. Download this, which is a TI Boy Etsy. All right, so here you find your program. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract these to a folder. So I'm just going to do my desktop because it's easier. And I already have a f uh, folder named TI Boy. So I'm just going to select these and extract. And we'll just replace this. Alright, so, basically here, I've already downloaded both versions, so if you have a TI non-color, you're going to want to drag this .gb file into the make app, but if you have a color edition, so that's what the C is for, you're going to want to drag it into this make app, so that's what I'll do. So what I can do is I'm just going to call this ADJ and then press enter to continue. So once I have this here, um, I'm going to connect to this and then this is the one I need to use, the lowercase one. Um, and just send this to the calculator and this might take a while because it's a bit of a bigger file. All right, so once that's done, then you should be able to find that, that game in the in the app section so there's just an app button on your calculator that you can click and then go there all right so once the program is finished downloading this time you're going to want to press the apps button to find it and there it is adj so you're just going to start this up and as the emulator second and alpha act as the a and b buttons and mode and this xt random button uh is going to function as your start and select keys. So we're just gonna wanna start this. And here you go. This is a fully functioning game. This game file is fine because it's a homebrew game. It's not an actual uh, pirated game. So that's, cause that was included in the download for the non-color edition. So I just use that one. So if you have a color calculator and you didn't see that file, don't freak out. It didn't come with that. So you're just gonna need to find your own .gb files. And I can't show you how to do this because a lot of these methods are illegal. And I don't, I don't condone piracy, so if you get these files, do so at your own risk. Um, but just use that method and you can convert them into games for your calculator. So this actually runs really well because uh, it must be not a hard game to run. But I've had some games that just run like super slow on the calculator. So just experiment and see which ones you can get to work. And if you find a game that works really well, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. So, uh, hope you liked the video guys. See you next time. Peace out.